Today we're going to talk about linear functions. So let's start out by going over some basic graph features. If we look at this graph here, it's a straight line, so it is linear. Here on the y-axis is the y-intercept. Here on the x-axis is the x-intercept. So we can fill those in here. Six. And if you're going to write the ordered pair, it always goes x, then y the y-intercept of 9, so we would write it as 0, 9. To find slope, first we can just look at this line and see that it's going down to the right, so it's a negative slope, and then we want to actually find the rise over the run, the change in y over the change in x. To do this, you need to find two points that are on grid lines. So this is a good one, and this is a good one and we can count. One, two, three is the rise or vertical change, and the run is one, two, so that's a negative three over two. So now let's make sure we know what these numbers mean. This graph is about a tub of water. Over here we have gallons, and here we have minutes. So this x-intercept of six, that's six minutes, and according to this graph, there will be zero gallons of water after six minutes. This intercept here, the y-intercept 9, means that it started with 9 gallons of water. That's the initial value, and that'll be important. Then our slope of negative 3 over 2, what does that mean? That means that this tub of water is losing 3 gallons every 2 minutes, or 1.5 gallons every 1 minute. That's the rate. That'll be important to understand if any uh, word problems have questions. To write an equation for this line, we can use the format y equals mx plus b. It's important to know what m and b mean. m is the rate or the slope, b is the y-intercept. So since we've already found these values, we can plug them in. y equals m, that's our negative 3 over 2, x plus b, the initial value, which is 9. This is how most linear functions will be set up. You have a rate that multiplies the x, and then you have an initial value. If you can remember that format, you can set up most equations for linear functions. All right, now let's graph a line when it's given to us in slope-intercept form. Here we have y equals 1 half x minus 2. We will always want to start looking for that constant. That's your initial value. Be sure you pay attention to the sign right before it. That's actually a negative 2. So we'll start on the y-axis with a point at negative 2. Then we look at m, or the slope, and it's the rise over the run. So starting at this point you just drew, we're going to rise 1 and run 2. Since it's positive, we go in the positive direction for both of those. That gives us a positive slope. You can keep doing this to find more points, and then connect them to make your line. Here are a couple things to look out for. If m is negative 3, we always need a rise and a run. So you want to turn that into a fraction by putting it over 1. Another mistake some students might make is when you're calculating slope of a line, be sure that your points are on grid lines. You don't want to use a point that's in between grid lines because it's hard to know the exact value. Now let's look at a table of values. This represents another tub of water. So we have minutes and we have gallons. Typically your tables will be set up with your independent and dependent variable x and y. If you want to find the rate of change, that's the slope. Now you could graph these points or we can just look for a change in y over a change in x. So here we can see this is decreasing by 2. And we can see our x is increasing by 1. If these values are the same, that is proving that this is a linear function. And then to give the rate of change, you want to do the change in y over the change in x. So negative 2 over 1, or simply negative 2. The initial value, that means the starting value, or the y-intercept. So the y-intercept always has an x value of 0. And if we look in our table, we see 0 here, so our y-intercept is 8. 
the actual ordered pair would be 0, 8. Now that we have this information, we can write an equation for this relationship using the format y equals mx plus b. m is our rate of change or slope, and b is the y-intercept. Sometimes you might see a linear relationship represented just by two points. And in this situation, they're just giving it to you in a story format. Another tub has 15 gallons after two minutes, then it has five gallons after four minutes. This is basically two ordered pairs. We wanna be consistent and keep the time as the X value. So we have two and the gallons are the Y value. Then we have four minutes and five. So these two ordered pairs can now be used to write an equation for this linear relationship. If you know the slope formula and point slope form, those would be useful here. If you don't know those, I'm gonna show you another way to keep it simple. Since we already know what to do with a table of values, let's create a table out of these two points. We have two, 15, and four, and five. Now we already know how to find slope from a table, so we'll use that same method. This is decreasing by 10. The x's are increasing by two. So our slope is our change in y over change in x. We can simplify here to get negative five. That means this water's decreasing five gallons every minute. The y-intercept or the b value, we want to look for when x equals zero. In this case, there isn't a zero, but we can work backwards to find it. So I could add zero to this table and just follow the pattern. These are going by twos, so that means I could continue this pattern and add, tw add 10 to get 25. So my b value is 25. I'm just following this pattern here. If this is twos and this is tens, I can add zero to the table. Now that I have m and b, y equals m x plus b. Another thing you may be asked is to make comparisons about linear functions. In this situation, if we were asked which tub of water had the most water at the beginning, we would need to look at the y-intercepts or the initial values. If we look at the equations, we can just look at b. So we have a 9, an 8, or a 25. So tub number 3 had the most water at the beginning. If we're asked to compare rates, we're looking at the slope or the m. Which tub of water was losing water the fastest? Here we have negative 3 over 2. Here we have negative 2. And here we have negative 5 which means this tub was losing the most water per minute or it was losing water the quickest.